let's move on to the next topic which is a fun fact okay so the first 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 fact is adding zero okay i'll give you example for each so you just note it down on your notebook okay fine so the first one is adding zero this one i usually tell you in every part of addition in a in before sums we have seen lot of practical sums exercise or example sums in everything i usually tell you if you add any number with zero you will get the same number as an answer right so this is a adding with zero okay for example if i add 4 plus 0 what is the answer 4 okay anything that you add with zero the number is an answer fine if i take big number like 4 1 2 3 0 what is the answer 4 1 2 3 because the question is an answer okay the number that you are going to add with zero is the answer okay if it is a Zero plus eight zero six nine. What is the answer? The same thing. You are adding zero with the number, so the number is an answer. Eight zero six nine. Fine. So these are the different examples I have given you for adding zero. Okay. So let's move on to the adding ten. This is the second fact. If you add the ten with the number, what is the answer that you will get? For example, if you add four seven nine seven plus ten, what is the answer? I'll write it like this. Plus ten, you can write it as it. Okay. Plus ten because zero is in the place of ones. One is in the place of tens, then under, then thousand. Okay, so I'm going to add in the ones and tens place because ten we are going to add only ten. Okay, so what is the answer then? You will get seven as it is. Seven plus zero is seven. Nine plus one is ten. Seven plus one is eight. Then four. Okay, nothing special. You are going to just Instead the number, uh, you're going to add just ten with the number. Okay, so what about thousand? So, for example, if you add eight four zero seven plus thousand, what is the answer? Am I right? The answer is right. Which number is changed? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand places. Okay, only the thousand places changed. Only the thousand places changed. So you are going to add only the thousand places. You are uh, going to write the remaining number as it is. Okay, so there is no changes on the remaining places. Only thousand places changes. Okay, in adding tens, which place changes? Tens place. Tens place get changes. Okay, and then adding one. So if you add four plus one, what is the answer? Five. The next number is the answer, right? After four, what is the number? Five. Okay. If I ask you for uh, big numbers like five thousand six hundred and seventy-four plus one, what is the answer? After five thousand six hundred and seventy-four, which is the number that arrives? Five thousand six hundred and seventy-five. That's it. Right. So we're going to write the second number as an answer. Then next, adding hundred. What if you add a number with hundred five zero three seven plus hundred? What is the answer? Seven three one five. So which place changes? Ones tens hundred. Under place changes. Only the under the place changes. Okay. In adding thousand, thousand place changes. In adding ten, you're going to change only the tens place. You're going to only add the tens place. In adding under, you're going to only add the under place. Remaining numbers you're going to write as it is. Okay. Fine. Next one. So the last 
fact of addition is order of addition. So if you if I give question like 1, 2, 3, 8 plus 5, 4, 6, 3 equal to 5, 4, 6, 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 8. Okay. Same question. Only one question I have given. Okay. Which I assume equal to. Fine. So, if I add this number and add this number, the answer is C. Okay. Why? Because here we have 5, 4, 6, 3. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 8. Right. So, in both the equal, we have the same number. But only the order of the number changed. This is in a first position. This is in a second position. This is in a first position. This is in a second position. Only order has changed. Right. So, if the order also has changed, the answer is C. Fine. The answer is going to be C. So, if you change the order, answer is C. Okay. So, this is the last fact of addition. Let's move on with some sums based on this in a progress meter 4. Okay. The first sum is 1250 plus 6547 equal to 6547. So, the same number is given. So, what are you going to write? This number. 1, 2, 5, 0. The sec first number. Fine. There is no changes. Because if you change the order, the answer is same. Okay. So, what is 1 plus 5289? What is the next number of 5289? 5290. So, the next question is 0 plus 9884. What is the answer if you add anything with 0? So, the number is an answer. Right. So, 9884 is an answer. Fine. Next up. 1000 plus 9999. So, which number do you want to change for adding 1000? Why I told you? Just change, just add the 1000 place. Just add the 1000th place. Ones, tens, under, thousand. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is write the numbers as it is. 999. Nine. So, we're going to add only 1000 place. Add only 1000 place with 1. Because here we have 1. So, add 9 with 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. That's it. Okay. So, the next sum is 6531 plus 1000. So, which number do you need to add only the 1000 place? 6 plus 1 is 7. And the remaining numbers as it is. 5, 3, 1. Okay, so what about the next sum? 10. If you add 10 with this number, which place do you want to add? 10th place. This is the 10th place, right? So if you add uh, the 9 with 1, what is the answer? 10, right? So I'll do it here. 7096 plus 10. So which number will get changes? 10th place. So, 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 7. So, the answer is 7106. Okay. So, 0 plus 2946, 2946. If you add anything with the 0, then uh, the number is an answer. Next is 100 plus 7935. So, which place do you need to change? under the place okay so you're going to change the uh, i mean you're going to add the under place so i'll do it here seven nine three five plus under what is the answer five three five plus zero is five three plus zero is three nine plus one is ten seven plus one is eight so, the answer is 8035. Fine. So, next. For this one, what is the answer? If you add the 
3,335 with under 3,435. How do I got this number? You are going to add 1 with the under place. You're going to add 1 in the under place. If you add 1 in the under place, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, remaining numbers will be same. Fine. Next thing. So, here we have what, 2079 plus, so you have to fill this number, 1548 equal to, 1548 is already given. So, strike it out. 2079 is already given. Strike it out. What is the remaining number? 3319. So, that is what the unfilled dash. Okay. 3398. Fine. Then, so, this is the fun fact about the addition.